What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. As you guys know, we have ARC1 here training us to use the CNC machine. And so we're gonna do a little bit of that today. Uh, Mark and Vlad are not here yet, so we're gonna go ahead and do some vlogging on what's going on here. Me something real quick. You know what dad said yesterday? Huh? He said he said he's gonna build his own car now. I like to see it. Oh, he can do it. You see what his son did over there? You know he can do it. Might need to just get you to train real hard on this and be the, be the CNC man. What do you think? Maybe. You want to be the CNC man? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I like making everything perfect. When you see it, I kind of got OCD, so if it's not perfect, I kind of mess it with it. I got you. And that clock been cut out. I don't know about that. That's a good way to be, Bob. You going to get this frame cut out for me? Yeah, of course. For a very special girl. Right. Anthony. I need some service around here. Can I get some service around here? Kagiva. Hey, we're going to treat you the same way. Anthony, we're going to treat you the same way you treat us at O'Reilly's. We're going to charge the crap out of you. <laughs> Whoa, man. Don't, don't do that. What you got going on, buddy? Uh, oh, God. Yeah. Man, it ain't even worth fixing. You sure? <laughs> no, no, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Uh, you want to put this original bumper back on it, or you want to get a new one? Uh, how much a new one gonna cost first? All right, let's go price it, cause that that thing's looking kind of wack. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, Mark, <laughs> check this bumper out. Hold it. Yeah, where's the sensor? All right, let's see. Where's I mean, sensor? yeah, we could fix that. Oh, but the sensor? Nah, that I don't know. Look, push that out. See if that'll push out. I might have to heat it. Oh, Dad's proud of the CNC machine. <laughs>
trying to check this thing out. Dang, son. Yes, sir. Now you just need to get you a movement. Oh, this is a wheel. Oh, is it? Brian, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do? I uh, do check support for the ProNest and also RTP software. And, uh, I teach people, like you guys, uh, how to use it and uh, how to get the best benefit out of the software. Heck yeah. Yeah, well, we're very grateful for you, bro. Appreciate it. Hope you guys get a lot of use out of it. Oh, trust me. We're going to wear this thing out for sure. That's thing you did. Yeah, for sure, bro. He's getting it. You see that? Nathan, he's, he's got this type of, like, he's got this type of skill set, you know? And he's got that OCD, too, so. Yeah, I just got handy. You can also make it to the bottom. Oh, for real? Yeah. We're gaining subscribers, aren't we? Yeah, I'm saying he's been checking stuff out. Remember, he was. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But don't forget to check out vtune.com for some killer merch. These are the OG sweaters, but they're still nice. Great, they're great. Keep you warm. What are you building over there? Oh, it's just a picture frame. What's up, boss? vtune.com. 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 that shirt. What's up, bro? I'd make it out of rebar, my rims, and I'm making them. You're going to make some rims out of rebar? Yeah, like you see those spokes, I'm going to use rebar. Oh man, good luck with that. Yeah. No, the clock's kind of backwards. Natural selection. So what's next? Yeah. Well, what's he, what, what, who, he's, well, he's just making something, man. Wow. What, 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 why are you stressing about it? Why Wait, are you stressing? What is he you doing? Got a some ice skating? Hey, make sure that at the bottom, that, yeah, it's straight, that way you can stand on her little dresser. So Mark is putting the finishing touches on her. All we have left is to tee off this vacuum line right here. This this one right or right here. Is yeah, it this we're one? deleting the vacuum canister. You just tee it off into there. And then we can put some fluid in it and see if she starts. Yeah, and also, okay, yeah, that's all we needed, right? Yeah. Yeah, gotta, this is the canister we're deleting. Apparently these are optional, so. I guess you guys in the comment section let us know what y'all think about that. I've, I've never even done anything like that, so. All right, so we're good. Uh, 
you have a, did you get a hot battery for it? No, oh, I need to get one. Ooh, yeah, we we'll use the booster box for now, but definitely got to get a battery for it. I mean, there's a chance that one could be good, though. There is. You're not lying. Hey, it's not on, boss. Look. It's not on. Oh, oh. Right here. Go up. Go up with it right there. Ah, oh, there you go. Appreciate that, sir. I don't know. Yeah, boss, dude, well, I'm here. I'm excited. Oh, I bet. All right, so I bet when that top drops. Oh, yeah. so you know, hey, when that top drops, so will the passengers. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so thank you. Let's do it. You guys, you always want to make sure you put that drain plug in there. Yeah. Wouldn't want to mess up. And you wouldn't want to dump a whole gallon of oil onto the concrete would you that would suck i mean i'm sure that has nothing to do with this oil dry on the floor but <laughs> that in that empty know. gallon that <laughs> empty gallon not too tight boss i'm gonna go ahead and lift up the rear a little bit so the car is sitting level and we'll go ahead and fill it up yeah that's a good idea wait there's no dipstick it's electronic one. oh wow i did not know that Learn something new every day. <laughs> oh, man. I think the Germans just wanted attention, man. Yeah, they wanted you to look up under here and just start scratching your head confused. That way you got to go to the dealer. Bro, I would have been looking for that dipstick for like at least a couple minutes. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even know Paul sold me. For real? Well, Paul's the BMW guru around here, so he knows. Paul had a big, big part in helping get this car buttoned up. Yeah. Very appreciative of, of the man. Yeah, he actually fixed a lot of problems. Yeah, he come in like a hot shot. All right, that's it. We'll go get that booster box and let's crank her up. Yeah, you got to make sure you put that, that Pentosin in there, man. Luckily, Paul... See, that's uh, a oh, mineral. Well. It's a mineral oil. Really? Yeah. It, what is it for? I don't know, but if you put anything else into a Beamer, you'll mess it up. Yeah, Paul bought this stuff, so. Did he? Yep. But you get it? Yeah, he said, you're lucky you didn't have to buy it. It's $40, boss. Does it have to uh, surge, purge through there? Already? Yeah, it's going to have to run through there. Uh, is there a dipstick on that, on the cap? Or you probably just fill it up full? Yeah. Where is the cap? I don't, I don't know. know. You oh, just so literally just popped it off. You responsible for it. Yeah, there's a dipstick right there. Take the job for responsible for it. I'm getting the booster as we speak. He's getting the booster. Paul, what do you think? Half a yeah. click is going to start? Fire right up. Direct injected, man. Oh, yeah. You don't think we're going to have to bleed those injectors? <laughs> oh, uh, Somebody in the comment section said that we'd have to, but I don't know what that meant. Sorry, Nathan. Yeah, I don't know how. I don't know why you would have to. Big money waste. I haven't teed off. No, nah, you need to go put that in the bag. Nah, why? It's gonna yeah, be direct. It's not gonna start. No, nah, it Yeah, it will. Here. Why not? Because these cars require a lot. Dang, son! Let it run. Let it run. Woo! How you feel? How you feel, boss? How you feel? I feel great, man. Good. Yeah. How you feel, boss? Good job. What a V2 thing. You're a really good job. Uh, First thing you do is look at the name. Why? Turn it back on. Yeah, turn it back on. Back on. We're just making sure nothing's leaking. Let, let that uh, oil get all the way through. Hey, Mark, Mark, shut it off, shut it off. Just throw it up. Sure? Put them headers. Right, gonna take all of that. I could do it. Hey, go turn the steering wheel far right, far left. BMW is going. It's going to go away. There we go. Look at that. Nah. Heavy more boxes. No, this. Oh, yeah, it's going to be more. I know if this runs it all out, it's going to take a whole fourth or whatever that is, yeah. My car had the same tape when I started. Yeah. Why are you ready, man? 
He's on fire. No check engine light? Boys, you can't even get them from the dealer like Look, that. Once I, once I button up those wheel wells, there will be no light. Yeah, you're going to be good, man. Is that the ABS? I don't think it's the ABS. That, no, that's the traction. I'm pretty sure, because all that stuff sure? is on the No, I think that's on the closed door. Okay, so we got our motor started. I'm really happy with that. I was worried, I had my doubts because this was a lot of wiring, guys. We spent like two days trying to find out where all these plugs go. Paul was out here helping me. Yuri helped me with a lot of plugs and even VTune came out and helped me with some plugs and we got it all done. Now all that's left is actually to finish off this boost solenoid. We need to tee off these two lines and get them hooked up. That way we don't have a boost leak and then we'll get, go ahead and put our cabin air filter on and the cowl. And also they took apart the inside like for the brake system, everything to drop the brakes with the subframe. So we need to go under there, get all that buttoned up and the bumper. So let's go ahead and get all this back together and then the car will be good to go. And also we wanna uh, clarify why we had, we had such a hard time with the plugs is because everything was already unplugged. Yeah, uh, if we would have started on the job by ourselves, you know, we would have seen where everything goes, but they took everything apart and just took all the lines loose, took all the stuff apart. We didn't yeah, know everything about it. They just half-assed put it. And this is literally together. our first time doing this yep. motor job on this car, so. Never done an M54. Never even seen one out of a car until I got one out of the car. Yeah, it was scary when we first dropped it. Yeah. Not gonna lie. I was dreading the whole thing. <laughs> hey, but look where we are now, bro. We're Man, it's it's looking We're really showing. good, guys. I'm thinking it's... we'll go ahead and show them how to uh, freshen up headlights, too. Yeah, for so sure. So stay tuned for that, guys. Once we get all this done, we'll show you how to make your headlights look from this to brand new. Yeah, we'll clean, it, clean her up and take her down the road, too. Yeah. All right, let's get to work. Let's do it. All right, so we got everything buttoned up on the car. It's ready to drive. In the next episode, we'll actually go ahead and buff the headlights. We don't really have time right now because it's getting late on us. We gotta go. And then we'll put also the rear tail light on and the windshield molding. Because you see right here, this windshield molding is all cracked up. It's a typical thing with BMWs. I don't know why their seals are so bad, but they always crack. So we're gonna get that ordered and we're gonna get that replaced in the next episode. We'll clean it up and also do a little bit of PDR. There is some damage right here, as you can see. And also, we got this tail light right here. So we'll be replacing that, fixing all of this. And I don't know, maybe we'll be able to get this scratch out. Maybe we won't. But stay tuned for that, guys. It's going to be really nice. In the next episode, it's all going to be clean and ready to drive. If you enjoyed guys be sure to hit that subscribe button comment down below what you think of the car and also we are painting the rims so comment down below what color we should go with that'll be in the next episode also so go ahead and decide in this one and that is going to be it guys make sure you follow us on instagram at motorhead.co and we do have merch we have motorhead shirts and also vtune shirts on vtune.com so if you want to pick one up support your boys we'd really appreciate it thanks for watching guys peace